Hi, in this video I will show you how to organize production in meal prep industry and uh, all of the steps will be based on the reports available on the NutriBot. So let's uh, start from the step zero. So before you start, it is crucial to understand the difference between the naming in the system. So the naming and the whole architect architecture of the nutritionist module is crucial here. So let's take a closer look on that. Mm. As you can see, uh, the menu in our system is the list of the meals in the period of time. When we have a meal type, meal type is, for example, breakfast or lunch or the snack a.m., snack p.m., dinner. So the general naming of, of the meal type, the meal type. And the meal is, for example, tomato soup with homemade noodles and the parsley. And this meal can be built with one or more recipes. And there can be recipe for the tomato soup and the recipe for the homemade noodles, for example. And each of these recipe can be built, of course, with the ingredients, with the different amounts of each ingredient. And also um, you can add some simple ingredients to this recipe, like the parsley leaves at the end. Uh, and what is also important, each recipe can be used in one or more meals. So for example, these homemade noodles can be used in a different meals as well. So let's go to the step number one, orders confirmation. So first of all, if you received order from your customers, you need to care that they should be confirmed in the customers, uh, in the orders list. There is a list of the orders and you need to confirm them. And you, you can see it also here. There is the orders list, list of orders, and you need to confirm the orders here. Mm. Then, the step number two is purchase of ingredients, so the shopping list. And we have the dedicated report, which is named shopping list. The shopping list takes into consideration all the yields, so you can generate the shopping list here. And by clicking create a shopping list, you need to choose for which period of time you, need, you want to create the shopping list. For example, for the Monday, and by clicking preview list, you can see the list of the ingredients. You can change your stacks and just generate the shopping list. And this is the step number two. So you need to buy all the ingredients. The step number three is the recipes bulk cooking. So uh, based on the, um, the board here, we will cook this part. So we will cook all the recipes, which can be used in one or more meals. For example, these homemade noodles can be used in more than one meals. So right now, the kitchen chef will cook in bulk the baked potatoes, the sauce, the fish, the homemade noodles and different kind of recipes. And the report can be used here is that is available in the report section, meals to prepare, dish to prepare. So if we go to the kitchen, meals to prepare, and dish to prepare. We want to generate this report and this is it. And let's go back to my chart. At the bottom, you can see that we have a good example. For example, here is the recipe sweet and spicy chili sauce, the carrot kohlarab and sesame salad, and the Korean style chicken. So there is a free recipe. And if we go with this arrow, you can see that here we have the meal which will be created with this recipe and there will be all these three recipes used in the one meal. And also you can see that this chili sauce will be used also here with a different meal, Korean style tofu, not Korean style chicken, but tofu. So it is a really good example, but we will go to this reports in the next step. So this is the detailed uh, report for cooking. You can see how, uh, what kind of recipes you need to cook, which ingredients they are built in total how many servings you need to prepare. So there's 12 servings and the smaller one, medium, larger, and in bulk, how much of each ingredient you need to add for cooking. So it is, uh, 
important and uh, if you go to the ingredients list as i said the ingredient list takes into consideration all the yields so for example if you need to peeling fruits or if the meat will have some loses after boiling the ingredient list will take into take it into consideration and will show you more uh, ingredients you should buy and the step number four is the longest one this is the step number four meal preparation what means recipe combining so food containers packaging we will pack the food containers and it uh, it uh, has a few sub steps so the step number one so in general we will combine all the recipes to build our meals and as i said a few times each recipe can be used in one meal or more meals the same sauce can be used in this meal in this meal and in the another meals as well and the same baked potatoes the same noodles can be used in a different meals as well so the step number one is the meal preparation order planning so uh, first of all we should properly plan which meal we will create we will uh, prepare first which second and so on it is uh, quite important some companies like to start from the all the breakfasts all meal plan by meal plan so for example first vegetarian then the balanced then muscle gain and so on, that kind of things so depends on your preferences you should uh, plan your uh, production and to do it well you can use the report meals to prepare but this time the meals so if we generate this report but in this part you can see all the meals you need to cook this day and all the recipes you need to shoot to you need to use to combine this meal so this report will be really helpful and also you can see here this is a meal this is a recipe and this is also a simple ingredient here so you can use this report but also the report meal summary can show you how much how many of each uh, meals you should prepare and this report you can find here meal summary meals and if we take the same day 19th of june you can see how much of each uh, uh, meal you need to cook and there is a total maybe i will use my screenshot here so if you have different portion sizes this table will be useful for you so you will see how much of each size of the meal you need to cook and at the end is the total so probably it will be more uh, suitable here so thanks of that you will see okay i need to cook that kind of meals today which will be built with these recipes and the, there is a number of these meals so based on these reports you can plan production well and then we have the step number 4.2 containers preparation so you should start from the meal number one portion size uh, portion size number one for example fish vegetables and baked potatoes 100 grams some companies like to uh, mm, prepare all the portion sizes of one meal in parallel but we will take the example when you create portion size by portion size so uh, the second meal is mm, the second production uh, meal in a row will be the same meal but in the bigger amounts but let's start from the smaller portion size meal number one fish with vegetables and baked potatoes 100 grams you need to prepare the plastic boxes the food containers you you will use for the for for preparation this meal and to handle that you can use report packages report you can find them here so this is the packaging report and for 19th of june after generation you can see all the containers used in your company and they are separated for each meal and there is a of course a total so if you're starting from some kind of meal for example korean style chicken you can see that in total you need to have 14 chambers and for the smaller portion size you need to have seven of them so it can be helpful uh, for for this step and the step 4.3 is meal preparation recipe combining so we should take from our kitchen if we have all the recipes cooked we should take the meals needed to prepare this specific meal the recipes needed for that so for example sauce baked potatoes and the, uh, the fish 
and now we are going step by step and adding the recipe by recipe so we are adding potatoes the vegetables fish and the sauce here so we are combining our meal of course which we, we need to weigh the weight all the ingredients uh, all the recipes to have the right amount and this is the step number uh, four four point three and the report for that is here so you have the report meal weights and this is a report here meal weights and if we take it here so you can generate and see each meal in all the portion sizes then for example we have korean style chicken meal here and we can see there is a recipe by recipe used in this meal different platings different portion sizes and all together so uh, if we see here we should prepare for example sauce and this sauce is here so we need to have all together 200 grams of sauce and for the smaller portion size we should add 15 grams and we need to have three smaller portion sizes so we need to add 15 grams of the sauce carrot uh, sesame salad 60 grams and korean style chicken 190 grams and there is this ingredients groups you can see in the cooking report recipe cooking report the arrows will show you each meal, each recipe and the ingredients which will be visible also in this packaging report so in general this is the report for the bulk cooking recipe cooking and this is a report for the mm, packaging so for the food containers uh, combining if we uh, have done this uh, packaging step then the step number 4.4 is closing containers so we should just close the box with the plastic top part of the box then containers labeling so we should print the label and stick them on the container and for that we have the report labels on the boxes print out of course in the settings there is box labels you can uh, generate your own template of the uh, of the label each label can have the um, fixed part and variable part so you just need to once create the uh, the template and system automatically will generate all the unique um, um, labels and you can generate them here in the order in plans print and labels on the boxes here and if you are cooking one kind of meal you can just Mm, sort this list to, to have this meal in this specific portion size you are right now cooking so if you filter it then after clicking print you can print the labels needed only for this specific type of the uh, meal and the portion size after printing labels you need to stick them to the food containers and then you should cool them it is usually the short process of cooling and if you cool them you should go to the next meal and similar you should prepare the packages for this time for the bigger portion size of the same meal and uh, you should prepare the containers you should prepare the recipes the same in this topic or and uh, combine them and wait of course close containers label cool and then there is an another meal so for example spaghetti bolognese and this time you will have the different kind of recipes but for example the sauce can be the same uh, as in this meal so we can use the same sauce i know that this example are quite stupid but uh, because <laughs> this sauce probably will be different but the case is really uh, important so you can use the same sauce here and the noodles and combine them for the spaghetti bolognese and the same clothes print con, uh, stick and cool and there is an important step so the step number five five is meals collection dispatching so step number 5.1 is sorting meals on the shelf so usually we will use on the kitchen that kind of metal shelves and the meal number one after cooling we should add uh, we should put for example on the one uh, shelf on the on the top for example and the, the portion number two of the same meal should be on the another shelf the meal number two should be in the third shelf 
the mean number three will be on the another one and so on so on so on and the all the last meal should be on the last shel shelf in our uh, production part and if we have the all the meals in the shelves then there is a step number 5.2 meals stacks uh, collecting so we should collect the meals for each customer we can uh, do this step um, based on the report ordered meal plans or based on the list of printed back labels so ordered meal plans it is this report and it will show you all the customers with all with their uh, meals and based on this report uh, you can collect the meals for each customer so each stack will be this will be a meals for Chris this will be meals for um, John Smith this will be uh, meals for Barbara so each stack should be the meals of the uh, of the different um, customer and as you can see here yeah, there is a uh, Manuela Bayer meal so based on this report you should collect the meals for each customer separately if you have that kind of stacks with meals for each customer you can go to the step number six packing meals to bags and uh, now uh, you should uh, label the bags so uh, there is a printout of the separated labels for bags if you print the bags for the labels uh, you can do it here in the settings there is a bug labels so you can create a different template of the sticker for the bugs so there can be the name surname and the address and for example meal code we can handle this part of the meal code in the separated video because it can be really useful to code your meals and thanks of that code to dispatch quickly the right meals based on this specific code each meal can have their own code and you can collect the meals based on the codes not the meal names so it is also it can be also helpful but doesn't matter if we go to the labels and bags if you print all the uh, in on all the labels you need to stick them on the bags you will have that kind of bags and then go with this uh, bags and just take the stack and put on the pack and take the another stack put to the another pack and you have packed all the bags and the very last step is the delivery so to deliver to the delivery you can use the reports deliveries so in the deliveries deliveries there is a list of all the deliveries you can export this report to the excel sheet for example or you can use our delivery mobile app where each driver can see their list of deliveries the, the map of his deliveries or the list they can open the google navigation they can see the details and after delivery they can take a photo and check that the package is delivered and the customer will receive push notification and you will have the proof that it was delivered this is the whole production process of course we can discuss more detail each step but it is just the general overview i hope that it will be helpful for you and especially as you can see the well understanding between the meals recipes and ingredients and the architecture of the menu with the bulk cooking and meal combining will be really helpful i hope that you can plan your production well and see you in the next video bye